Welcome to Project Addiction. So today, real quick video, we've got Andre. Hey, that's again me and my car. And his forerunner back in the shop here today. Now, well, how long ago? Probably a year ago? No, like from the spring, I think. Spring? We, we swapped this piece in the spring. Uh, and uh, it worked pretty well, but I noticed one thing that it slowly started to uh, uh, warp and it's now oval, it's not round any anymore. So I asked Cam if he can uh, print from, from a different material, this, this piece, and he did. So what we've got is this intake piece was printed out of PETG. And the hope was that the PETG might be strong enough to handle the temperatures, just the ambient temps in the engine bay, because it's not actually in contact with anything. It's just, it's, this is all rubber here anyways, right? And the exhaust manifold is fairly far down. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's the case. We're going to take it out here, inspect it, and uh, then we're going to throw in a new piece that hopefully is going to be a little bit more durable and be able to handle the temps a bit better. I'm going to definitely test it, don't worry. Yeah, I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, but it's definitely not round anymore. And, uh, but considering like this side is, it's okay, but this side is definitely not round. But uh, honestly, I thought it's gonna warp or bend even more under heat. So uh, yeah, not bad, but this is gonna work even better than new piece. So we've got the part out and like Andre was saying, the ambient temperature was enough to start deforming the PETG. So I don't know if you can see a little bit better in the light here, but this side is actually, right here, has actually flattened out. And it was allowing the piece to kind of walk around inside its clamp. The rest of it's actually okay. It held up pretty well. I'm assuming that this was the side that was closer to the engine and the force of the clamp around the plastic was enough to deform it. But I mean, in saying that it was in there since spring or late winter now, and it held up not bad, all things considering. But obviously that was causing a vacuum leak and some potential rough run issues. So we're swapping it out with this one here. Proper round. It's actually printed a little bit thinner than the PETG unit, but this one's been printed out of ASA. ASA has a much higher temperature rating to it, so it shouldn't have any problem at all in the engine bay. The problem was trying to print it in ASA originally was very difficult because I didn't have an enclosed printer. And every time I tried to print it, it would warp. So now that I have an enclosure on the printer and I've upgraded my power supply, I was actually able to get the unit up to 100 degrees like I need to on the bed temp and it didn't warp and we actually got a successful print out of it. So I've already tapped this. I'm gonna swap over the brass fitting get it installed and uh, we'll do another test on this one and see how it is in a year. Okay, so uh, back with the new part. So just looking closer at the old one, you can see it's actually shrunken on this side and it's been stretched on this side as well. So the whole piece is kind of curving like that. Tighten up the clamps, and that should be it for this part. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, like new. It is new. <laughs> so as you saw, the new one was a lot harder to put in than uh, removing the old one was. And that shows actually how much the ends of this uh, of the old one had compressed. So I've seen a lot of guys asking 
Will PETG work under the hood? And I've seen a lot of guys saying, yes, PETG will work under the hood. Well, that's a lie. And uh, I think this is pretty good proof of that. This part is just in ambient engine bay temps. It's not touching anything that's hot. And that was enough to distort it. The part didn't fail, but it still deformed enough that it did cause engine problems. And if left in there, it probably would have caused a lot more problems. I mean, it was already starting to get a little bit of a vacuum leak and that was just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So would I use PETG under the hood again? Probably not. I mean, we're up in Canada, it doesn't get that hot up here. And uh, it failed in this engine bay. So if you're gonna build stuff for the engine bay, I'd stick to nylon, ABS, or ASA, because I don't think that we're gonna have a problem with this one, but like I said, we'll keep an eye on it anyways, but this area doesn't get anywhere near the temperatures. It'll even start to soften that ASA out. So until next time, until next time, see you later.